Hey guys, uh, I'll just walk you through uh, basically how do we implement or create a network with the uh, network X and Python. It'll just take like five minutes, so stay focused. If possible, uh, in the description, I think there should be this particular notebook available to you. Since there's no data or any other uh, file needed, you can just download and run this. Or if you have a Jupyter notebook, you can uh, code alongside me. Okay. So we'll just see how we can create network, add nodes and all those things. And we'll close now. In the next video, we'll see how do we uh, do a little bit more than that. Okay. So here, if you focus on, we have import networks, uh, network X as NX. So network X is the package which we will use. Okay, to create all of these things, uh, n equals to nx dot graph. Okay, this n will be our network. Nx is this particular package, and from that, I'm calling graph. Okay, now there are two ways of adding a particular uh, node to a network. One is that you add a particular node. There will be no edges connected to it, or you just add an edge. Okay, uh, if you add it between a and b, and a and b do not exist, then the uh, program will automatically create a and b as well. Okay, it understand that much. Even if you're uh, nodes are not created. If you're creating an edge between two nodes, it understands that the two nodes has to be created. Okay. So that particular thing is taken care of. Okay. Uh, so let's just uh, see what kind of graph will be created here. So A and B and edge is formed based on this line. Then there's a B between C and D. Okay. Based on this line, A and C based on this line and then B and A. So since it's a graph without any instructions, I'll assume that it's a normal graph, uh, edges do not have any direction. So B2A is already there. Okay, so this is already there. And then we will draw this particular network. Now there's one important thing that you need to know is that the network X do not really have a very strong visualization tool. So not all the graphs will be visible, not all the data will be visible on these graphs. Later on in this course, we will try to use matplotlib's uh, capacity to integrate it with this network X and we'll get better graphs, but Right now, it will not be as uh, fancy as you might expect it to be. Okay, so this is the uh, graph which we are expecting. Let's see what is given here. Uh, okay, so if you see, um, yeah, so this is the right graph itself. It's just that uh, they have uh, written it in such a way. So this is the same single line, right? To B to A and C and D, and this is the same thing, B to A and C and D. So our graph is correct. Okay, this is how we are getting the normal regular graph. Now, after that, uh, we'll see an example of how do we create a directional graph. Okay, so directional graph is one in which uh, we have a particular uh, order. Okay, the order matters here. What does that mean? So if we have created a node between, let's say, A and B, okay, and I'm saying A and B, it means that A to B. Okay, if it's D to C, then it will be D to C. And if I say B to A, then I will add another arrow this direction. I cannot add another node because if you remember, we have a separate type of graph for that. That's called a multi-edged uh, graph. So we don't have multi-edged graph, just that we can add direction. So if B to A and A to B both are there, then the arrow will be like this. If it is only one direction, it will be like this. Okay, so that particular thing needs to be specified. So other than that, uh, you have to mention whether this is the directional graph to the package before that. So it's die graph. Okay. So that particular thing you need to take care of. Once you implement this particular thing, let me share this. Okay. So you get this uh, D to C. Okay. D to C. And if you can see here, we have a single arrow, right? There's no arrow this side. Whereas in case of A to B, we have A to B and B to A both. So we will have arrows on both sides. So that particular thing is there. Okay. Uh, here I have just uh, created a very uh, different way of creating uh, the graph. Uh, it's a decahedron. So if you guys want to, you can implement this, but you will not be actually needing something like this. Okay. Now, uh, if we have to add more features other than just uh, that, if you need to add weights. Okay. So the only uh, thing that you have to do extra is that comma weight equals to five. You have to tell what kind of graph it is and then add weight equals to five, right? So this basically tells us that this particular, when I add an edge, I have to tell it at least that between with what two nodes it's created, the source and the destination. Other than that, all of these are actually options. So you can add weight, similarly, you'll see relations, all of these things you just have to add. And if you run this, you will have that particular graph with you, okay? Uh, similarly, there's a sine graph as we discussed. So for sine graph, the feature only changes. It will be sine equals to plus or minus. Everything else remains the same. Uh, similarly, we have this final graph. Uh, this is a regular graph in which 
instead of weights i have added relation okay so even that thing works totally fine here yeah okay finally a multigraph in which uh, we will have multiple nodes uh, sorry multiple edges between the nodes so in this particular example uh, here we will have a to b uh, c and d so we have a relation a to b are uh, spouse um other than that c and d are sibling and a parenting relation uh parent between these okay now here ideally i should have taken a, a digraph so that this would have been two directional this would have been two directional and this would have been like this because c and d are not parent of a right but i have just taken it as an example now coming to the next one the last one which you have multigraph here we have a to b one relation is friend okay uh, c to d one relation is uh, sister and then a to b one more relation is there that is classmate okay no direction sorry uh, classmate okay so it will have two edges this time right uh there's no direction mentioned because we don't have any directional di mentioned here in the next video you will see that we can add a multi directional graph it means that you can have like uh, b feels a is a friend and a feels b is a classmate okay so we'll see those kind of example there uh, in the next video but this is basically how you can create the notes now the reason why i'm not uh, running the code for this thing as i said network is not uh, network x is not something made really for uh what do you say mm, visualization of these things but uh, just for the sake of this we can run this we can just say sim relation this is our graph right so if we run this particular thing we have this graph okay just as we expected a is connected to both c and d c and d are connected to each other a is connected to b but none of the information like spouses and all those things are mentioned here okay even if you try to uh, there are functions for that it will not actually work without a lot of help that we will see later on uh, right now this will work to give you the basic skeleton of the network not the attributes on the same graph okay so i hope that you guys now understand how the graph is created if you have any particular problem in your mind or any set of data you can collect that you can create a graph out of it uh, in the following videos we will see how we can add more information add more uh, details filters to the graphs and uh, how can we extract these information which are stored in form of graphs okay thank you